Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So it's a lovely sunny day here in Thailand and we decided, me and Nock, who's seen on this channel before, decided to come to a beach. As you can see here, we've just been in the water and it's just a tropical paradise, as you can see. And I actually started to have a desire to do a workout and do a workout video specifically for you beginners. And this is going to be a calisthenics ab workout. Like I said, it can be for beginners, but it also can be used for people at all different levels, no matter where you are on your calisthenics journey. So if you're someone that needs to make it more difficult, you can. And what we're going to do is six different exercises. And for beginners, you're going to want to rest around 60 seconds. And for people that are more advanced, you want to rest anywhere from 13 to 50 sec 15, not 50 seconds. I went to say that incorrectly then. Because obviously the shorter rest time that you're going to have between each exercise, the more it's going to tear your muscle fibers, it's going to ache your abs way, way more, and your obliques as well, to doing exercises for all of this area around here. And it's also going to be working on giving you this V-cut, if that's what you want to get. But obviously, if you want to get visible abs and a V-cut and obliques that you can actually see, you need to be working on your diet, doing things such as intermittent fasting to get low enough body fat percentage, whilst also developing your muscles so you have enough muscle to actually get them visible. And I am literally going to be using this. I would prefer to use a mat, but this is all I've got, so that's the best we're going to do. And you want a phone as well, because you want to be timing yourself. So it's on now. And what we can do is do three exercises that is going to be massively targeting the rectus abdominis, which is the three external muscles here, which people call the six pack. Some people have an eight pack in this, some rare situations, an eight pack. And it's been working on this V cut area as well. And then three exercises that are going to be working on the oblique muscles that are down the sides. So by having three of each, you're getting a very good all rounded ab workout that is targeting everything around this area. Oh, and something I want to mention is when you're doing any type of ab training, you ideally want to do it days away from leg day. So say, for example, I normally train three to four times a week. So on a Monday, I would normally do abs. And then on Wednesday, I would do an upper body workout. And then on Friday, it'd be a leg workout and then another upper body workout on Sunday. So it gives me quite a few days break in between legs and abs because with a lot of calisthenics exercises, you are using your legs. So if you're doing it soon after training day, it can make it way, way harder. And I find when I've done it before, I can't push the workout as hard as I possibly could in a time when my legs are actually fully recovered when I go to do an ab workout. So that is something to be aware of. So yeah, make sure you've got your timer on. And then obviously, every time you're gonna stop, time it for the duration that is suitable for you. You don't need any special app for this, you can just have your timer on your iPhone. And yeah. The first exercise we're going to do is Iron Butterfly, which some people find this a bit hard to do. So when you're doing this, don't throw yourself up like this, like, like that. That's not using my abs at all. Make sure, like now, your abs are engaged and you're lifting up like that. So then you're doing it with correct form. And come all the way down. And to make it harder, you just do it slower with good form and don't put your back all the way down. So don't lay down like that. Do it so your back is slightly hovering off. And what you want to do is a minimum of 12 reps. Which I can already feel that in my abs and I'm someone that's quite advanced with ab workouts. So that is 12 if I remember correctly, because I was talking a bit then. But if you feel that it's not burning your abs as much as you want to, you obviously can do more reps. But what I always recommend, rather than trying to do more reps, is normally just trying to slow down the exercise and make sure that you're fully engaging your abs as much as possible and that you're perfecting the form. Because when you're doing all that, you will only have to do, well, you only need to do less reps to get as great as the benefits for it tearing the muscle fibers in your abs so then you can get the greatest benefits when you're resting and recovering for them to actually grow. So that is just something to be aware of. 
And if you're someone that wants to slow down your heart rate in between, which can make it easier to work out, is breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. And that will massively slow your heart rate down. And always make sure that you're well hydrated before because that's gonna make your workout a lot easier. And then what we have here is plank circles. And I would recommend doing anywhere from six to 12 full circles in each direction, which I'm actually gonna do 12. And when you're doing this, make sure you're not like this or back. Make sure it's completely stacked so it's straight. Have your elbows down like this and your arms. Don't have yourself down like this or like lean all the way back. Make sure you're like this, like a tabletop. And then what you do is full circles. So go all the way round. Really twist, as you can see, to one side like I have. So two, three. And make sure you have your head up like this, rather than down like that, or really high up. And you should really be feeling this in your obliques. As long as you're not using your hip flexors and your legs too much, you will be using way more of your obliques. So that's 12 that way. Make sure your bum is all engaged, your legs are engaged, your whole body should be engaged actually, to be honest. That's 12 on each side. And we're gonna straighten this out a bit because this is all going over the, into the sand. And make sure when you're doing that exercise that you are coming as close as you can to the ground. Do not rest your stomach on there. And when you come around, don't just go like that. Twist like you saw like I was. And come out as far as you possibly can. The further you're gonna come out, the more it's gonna engage your obliques. It's obviously gonna be harder, but as I see a lot of people with ab exercises that I train or I just watch in the gym, they're doing ab exercises and they're cheating. They're not doing it in perfect form and they're slacking off and modifying the way to make it way easier. And it's like, if you're trying to do an ab exercise and you cannot do it with correct form because it's too hard for you, you're not ready for that exercise. So find an exercise that is suitable for you at your level that you can actually do perfectly so you can get the greatest benefits from it. And I've got to do the timer there. Try not to do that. It's absolutely fine, we guesstimate <laughs> with that one. And yeah, I'm already getting sweat on. It's obviously hot here in Thailand, but as long as you're doing this correctly, it's gonna get your heart rate up. It's gonna start getting you panting and breathing quite heavily, which is a really good thing. And this is a really good workout to burn off excess calories, which will then in turn burn off excess body fat, so then you can have more visible abs over time, if that's what you desire. So. This one is a really, really simple one. When you're doing this, don't have your feet all the way out like that. Try and have them quite close to you, like so. Be flat on the back, and then you go like this. And when you get here, try and go over like that. The further you go over, the more it's gonna engage your abs. And when you come down, don't just rest like this. Go up and then like hover here. Not down here, here. That's the way to do it perfectly. And I would recommend doing anywhere from 12 to 20 reps. And make sure that you're doing it in perfect form. Do it slow and controlled. Do not be doing this. That's not using your abs at all. It's using more of your hip flexors and using a lot of momentum to throw yourself up. So let's get on with this one. And I'm gonna do 20. and I already can feel it in my abs. So if you're doing these exercises and the first time you